Hi, I am Vijay Raj, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Ajayya Mahal Mahalikam Engineering College. In this session, we are discuss about the subject ME 859 for dynamic submission. The subject topic is Portal Governor. Uh, first, uh, we have to understand the following things. There are uh, what is the governor and what is the function of the governor. The governor is a regulating mechanism. Function of the governor, the function of the governor is to regulate the speed of engine when there are variations in the load. Next, what is the type of governor? The governor mechanism classified into two types. So, one is a centrifugal governor, another one is inertial governor. The centrifugal governor is further classified into one is pendulum type, another one is Loader type. In the pendulum type uh, governor is call it as watt governor. The loader type is further classified into two types. One is uh, deadweight, another one is spring controlled governor. The deadweight governor, based on based upon the construction, uh, we are call it as the motor governor and the power governor. Then the spring controlled wall is based on the construction. Further classified into four categories. One is uh, hot and governor, another one is uh, hot and governor, then Wilson hot and governor, final one is pickering governor. Okay. Next, we have discussed what are other terms in governor. First, uh, this is the height of the governor. Height of the governor is the vertical distance from the center of the ball to the point where the axis of the arm is intersect on the spindle axis. It is denoted as a H. So here the distance between the pivoted axis, pivoted axis to center of the ball is called as a H. Is a height of the governor is denoted as a H. Okay. Next. Another important uh, terms equilibrium speed is the speed at which the governor ball arms etc are complete equilibrium and the sleeve behavior does not tend to move upward or downward here in mean equilibrium speed is speed at the mean position of the ball or the sleeve. Then fourth one is maximum and minimum equilibrium speed. The speed at the maximum and the minimum radius of rotation of the ball without tending to move either way are known as maximum and minimum equilibrium speeds. Last one is sleeve lift. How to define sleeve lift? It is the vertical distance which the sleeve travel due to change in equilibrium. Okay. It is a sleeve lift. Next, what is the portal though? How to define the portal governor? Is the construction of portal governor? Then the portal governor is modification of what governor with the central row attached to the sleeve. What governor is the construction of what governor? Okay, it is the construction of what governor? What governor has the without mass? Mostly this governor used to used to for a slow speed application. Okay. In this case, central load also move up and down. So here portal governor, here it is a central load. Central load also move through upward or downward along with along with the sleeve. The central load attached to the sleeve. The load moves up and down in the central spindle. Due to the central load, additional downward force included. Okay. This additional uh, downward force increases the speed of gravitation required to enable the ball to rise to any predetermined level. So, in the central load move along with the sleeve of the governor. It is the total governor. Rotation to be used uh, in this total uh, governor. It is a line diagram or space diagram. Here, it has M is called as the mass of the spot. Mass of the central load. Similarly, W capital W weight of the central load or radius of rotation. Here, in the distance between the ball center to spindle axis. 
is coming as a previous application, which denoted as the height of the node. How many said which is the height of the node? Here we actually giving the spindle axis to upper. So similarly, beta the distance between the angle angle of inclination between the t t two to spindle axis is the beta. Uh, these are all the methods. This is the method of resolution of forces. Number two, similarly, is second method. You know, the first one is uh, method of resolution of forces. Okay, this is the free body diagram or space diagram of the both of them. Here, uh, W by two is called kind of the central node, our portion of the central node. Here it is the small W called as the beta of the flight path. Capital W central node. Here F C is called as the centripetal force. T one tension on the arm, T two tension on the lower arm. The beta is called as the angle between the spindle axis to lower arm. Angle of inclination. Height of we know the height of the node. Okay. So now we find derive the equation. In this uh, portal journal, now we are using resolution of forces method. First, now, uh, now we draw the space diagram. First in case, second one, now we have to simplify T two. Okay. Considering the equilibrium of the forces acting on, we considering the equilibrium of forces acting on T. Okay. So where is where? Here it is the T. Here it is the T. Considering the equilibrium of forces, you know the equilibrium of forces means total uh, upward force is equal to downward force. So this is the downward force. Here downward force is towards bottom of the T portion. Similarly, upward force is located in this portion. So now result here it is T two. T two. Cos beta is equal to rho. This is the upward force. W divided by two is the downward force. So now this is the equilibrium state. How to uh, reconstruct? We know that W is equal to mass into gravity. So instead of uh, wherever uh, come uh, come to the W, instead of W we are applying energy. Okay. So next we you know. W sorry substitute we have W value above equation T two cos beta is equal to mg divided by two so T two is equal to mg divided by two cos beta is a equation number one we derive for our continuity here is the equation number one so then again considering the equilibrium of forces acting on V next B discuss about point B is the uh, by by using the solution of forces method. The point B here is point B. Okay, point B uh, is an equilibrium under the action of following forces as shown. Okay, what are all the forces acting on the uh, point B? Okay, first in the weight of the ball. Weight of weight of the ball. Number two. The cent the centrifugal force number two centrifugal force number one weight of the fly ball number two centrifugal force number three tension in the upper arm upper arm tension then lower arm tension okay the lower arm tension next uh, by using resolution of forces method we know uh, total horizontal forces. The vertical forces equal to the horizontal forces equal to the vertical forces. So first we have to find the resolving the forces in vertical direction. Okay, what are all the vertical forces acting on the total one? So here T one vertical forces T we how to set T one cos alpha T one cos alpha is equal to T two cos beta again plus W by what? So this is the equation for two. 
already we know that t2 is equal to t2 is equal to mg divided by t2 cos beta is equal to mg divided by 2 uh, at the same time w is equal to mg so applying this uh, delta instead of uh, w and t2 okay that is a instead of w you can apply mg similarly instead of T2 cos beta is equal to mg divided by 2. So finally, we can get T1 cos alpha is equal to capital mg divided by 2 plus mg. Okay. So then it is a equation number 3. Resolving the forces horizontally, similarly, this is a horizontal force. This is a horizontal force. Centripetal force is equal to T1 sin alpha T2 sin beta is equal to centripetal force. T1 sin alpha plus T, T1 here T1 sin alpha opposite direction. T1 sin alpha similarly T2 sin beta is equal to centripetal force. So uh, from equation number 1 you know T2 is equal to what is it? T2 is equal to mg2 cos beta. So, instead of T2, you can apply mg divided by 2 cos beta. Uh, substitute T2 value in equation number 4. Okay. Substitute T2 value apply in equation number 4. So, finally, you can get T1 sin alpha plus mg divided by 2 cos beta into sin beta is equal to centripetal force. So, you know sin beta divided by cos beta, sin beta divided by cos beta is equal to tan, tan beta. So, next is the step. Uh, sin alpha, same sin alpha plus mg divided by 2 into tan beta is equal to centripetal force. Next, uh, mg divided by two, t1 sin alpha is equal to uh, fc minus mg divided by 2 into tan alpha. It is a fifth equation. Finally, <coughs> dividing equation, dividing equation 5 and Dividing equation 5 and 2 is a fifth equation T1 sin alpha in, is equal to Fc minus Mg divided by 2 into tan beta. Here it is a second equation T1 cos alpha is equal to Mg divided by 2 plus Mg. Next, uh, the Mg, the, the denominator value goes to right hand side. Here sin alpha and cos alpha is equal to Call it as tan alpha. Okay, the, left, uh, the denominator value goes to the uh, left hand side. So balance BFC minus mg divided by 2 into tan beta. Next, uh, next step, uh, the tan alpha goes to right hand side. So here, left hand side mg divided by 2 plus mg is equal to fc divided by tan alpha minus mg divided by 2 into tan beta divided by tan alpha. Okay. Next, uh, it is uh, equation number 6. Uh, take uh, tan beta divided by tan alpha, call it as q. For our convenient, we can change tan beta divided by tan alpha is equal to q. Similarly, from the geometry of the governor, uh, tan alpha, here it is a tan alpha, here it is a alpha, tan alpha means Opposite side, opposite side is the R divided by adjacent side, R by H. So, tan alpha is equal to R by H. We know that Fc is equal to M omega squared R. So, what are the delta Instead of Q, can apply. So, instead of tan beta divided by tan alpha is equal to Q. Here it is a Q value. Tan alpha, you know the tan alpha tan alpha is equal to R by H, then Fc is equal to, here Fc is equal to M omega squared R. You can apply the equation number 6, substitute the value of the equation number 6, finally you can get the equation Mg divided by 2 plus Mg is equal to M omega squared R into H by R, or here R by H, here 1 by tan alpha is equal so, in the, uh, in the data will change h divided by r minus mg divided by 2 into q. So, next uh, 
you can change the mg divided by 2 it goes to right hand side so m m g uh, h here r r uh, cancel r the term r cancel so finally uh, you can get the m omega square h is equal to m g plus capital m g divided by 2 into 1 plus q left hand side you can take h value Finally, you can get the equation mg plus capital mg divided by 2 into 1 plus q into 1 by m omega square. Uh, again, here uh, the g, the common value g goes to the right hand side. Okay. Here, common value g. You know the gravity value 9.81. Okay. So, here further the omega square is goes to the left hand side. So, h is goes to right hand side. So, the omega squared is equal to mg plus capital MG divided by 2 into 1 plus q into 1 by m into h. This is equation number 7. Finally, we know that omega is equal to 2 pi divided by 60. Instead of omega, we can apply 2 pi divided by 60. Substitute the equation number 7. Instead of omega, we can apply it. But in uh, some cases, uh, when the length of the arm are equal, some cases length of the arm is equal to length of the link and the point P and B lies on the same vertical line. That means the point P and D lies in the same line. Both arms are equal. That condition, uh, take tan alpha is equal to tan beta. That means tan beta divided by tan alpha divided by tan beta is equal to 1. So, you can apply instead of q, you can apply 1 means you can get the formula n squared is equal to m plus m divided by m into a m divided by h. Next, considering friction. Next, you have to consider the friction value of force is goes to downward because of gravity force. So, the minimum speed condition you can apply the frictional force is a negative sign. The frictional force considered as a negative sign for minimum speed. The arm are equal in length to the length of the link. The point P and D lies in the same vertical line. Here is a uh, maximum so minimum speed considered negative sign. Maximum speed, maximum, maximum equilibrium friction. There are the formulas. Now it goes to Okay. So, first you can take the, in, the, in an engine governor of the total tension is in total time. The upper and the lower arm are 200 upper arm, 200 mm, lower arm, 250 mm respectively, and the pivoted on this axis of rotation. The mass of the central load 15 kg, the mass of the each ball that means mass of the central load means capital M is equal to 15 kg, small m is equal to 2 kg, and Friction of the sleeve together with the resistance of the operating gears is equal to the load 24 Newton. That means uh, resistance. Resistance means called as the, the friction. F is equal to 24 Newton at the sleeve. If the limiting inclination of the upper arm to the vertical uh, 30 degree and 40 degree, that means if the limiting inclination of the upper arm, that means alpha 1, 30 degree, alpha 2. Find the range of speed of the governor. Find the range of speed. Range of speed means in the different range. What is the range of speed and the difference between the maximum speed to the minimum speed? Okay. Next, n2 minus n1. Taking friction into account. Taking friction into account. So, we have to apply this formula. Maximum and the minimum. And the alpha 1. You can apply first the case alpha 1. Alpha 1 is the Limiting inclination of upper arm. The first case, case one is minimum speed. Mass of the sleeve, capital M, mass of the unequal. That means is the formula for engineering friction is minimum equilibrium speed you know, in minus n. Small mg plus capital Mg minus F F friction force. Capital M means mass of the central load is a Sleeve mass, the tune is height of the whatever the data are unknown. 
Q1 value unknown, H1 value unknown. So first you have to find Q1 value. Q1, you know the Q1 is equal to tan beta divided by tan alpha. So Q1 is equal to tan beta 1 divided by tan alpha. How to find the beta 1 value? First, you know uh, Pythagoras theorem. You know the hypotenuse value of the angle of inclination value. So easily find out the opposite side. Okay. First, from the geometry, tan beta 1 is equal to, from the geometry, tan beta 1 is equal to, tan beta 1 is equal to, opposite side divided by adjacent side, that means BG divided by G or BG. Next, R1 is equal to, how to find R1, R1, how to find the R1 value, how to find R1 value, PB sin 30 degree. So, you can get the R1 value, point. So, DG value, how to find DG? You know, DG, DG value, how to find the DG value? So, using Pythagoras theorem. That is the Pythagoras formula. So, you know, uh, DG value, BD squared minus DG squared root of BD squared minus BD squared. In value, 0.23, we get DG. So, you know the BG and the DG, you can find the tan beta value first, tan beta. One already you know tan alpha value. Tan beta one is equal to BG divided by DG. So what is the value for uh, beta one? Tan beta one. Here it is the value for tan beta one. Point four three four eight. Tan alpha one is equal to point five seven seven four. So Q one value can okay, find point seven five three. Next, H1 value, how to find H1, how to find H1, you know the alpha value and hypotenuse value and uh, opposite side value, R1 value. So, easily find out the H1 value. So, BB cos alpha, BB, E, B cos alpha only is equal to the H1 value, easily find the end of the term for minimum speed. So, we can apply this minimum uh, equilibrium condition formula. First, we can easily find out the minimum equilibrium speed. So, you know the uh, mass value 5 kg, capital F value uh, 15 kg, friction value 24 newton, uh, Q value, what is the Q value? 0.753. Uh, then height of the normal point comes uh, out Similarly, we can find the end to maximum speed of equation. We can find the end to value. What is the change for minimum uh, maximum equation? It does only change in angle of equation in the upper arm and the uh, single axis. So, alpha to value will be changed. So, the same uh, upper arm and the higher arm value. So, easily find out the maximum equilibrium speed is the formula for maximum equilibrium speed. Only the sign change will be changed. Okay. And here it is a positive sign. The same manner you can find, first you have to find Q2 value. Q2, that means tan beta. Tan beta is equal to the same PG divided by TG. So, first PG, you know. PG value, PG value 0.1268 meter. Again, you can find the PG value, PG. What is the PG? P, P, C. How to find PG value? PD squared here. P, D, PD means hypotenuse squared. Root of D uh, squared. That means 0.25 squared minus R2 value. 0.1268 square. So you can find dg. So tan beta is equal to dg divided by dg. So the tan beta to the value 0.59. Again, tan alpha to the tan alpha value. So you can get the q2 value. You know the q2 value means easy to find with the h2 value. You can get the h2 and you have a h2 value and the q2 value. Finally, uh, apply this final formula 
all uh, maximum input is paid. So, then get the input to and you can go to the table of the input. What is the question? You know, what is the question? Uh, uh, what are the finding uh, finding values first? Uh, range of speed, finding value, range of speed. Okay. So, here m2 minus m2 is equal to 222 minus 183 and get 38.7 of m. Okay. This is problem. The solution for this problem. This problem. This is the solution for this problem. Okay, next uh, problem. A portal governor has all four arms 250 mm long, the upper arm are attached to the axis of rotation. What is the difference between the second problem, the portal rubber uh, All four arms are 250 mm, that means uh, arms are equal. The upper arm are attached on the axis of rotation, and lower arm are attached to the sleeve at the distance 30 mm, that means the sleeve and uh, the distance between the spindle axis to uh, lower arm uh, 30 mm from the axis. That means the eccentric area is The mass of each ball is 5 kg. This is the difference. Then the uh, sleeve has this mass 50 kg. That means volume uh, 5 kg, capital M 50 kg. The extreme radius of rotation 150 mm and uh, determine the range of speed of the ball. Extreme radius, extreme radius means that means that one is an extreme radius of rotation that means R1 and R2, 150 and uh, 200, and then arms length 250, uh, <coughs> small m 5 kg, capital M 5 kg. To find the range of speed, what is the solution? The range of speed is equal to range of speed is equal to maximum speed minus minimum speed. So, minimum speed. Without considering friction, is the formula for minimum speed. Without considering friction. Similarly, you can get the first uh, uh, Q1 value. What is the Q1 formula? Yeah. Q1 is in 10 beta of your 10 alpha. You need to know about alpha and beta value. First, from the geometry, sine beta 1, sine beta 1 is equal to opposite sine directly. Hypotenuse. Opposite side, you know the opposite side value. Opposite side, R1 value, you know the R1 value. What is R1 value? 150. The R1 value, total distance. The total distance, R1, 150. Minus 150 minus the distance. You can get the opposite side, PF value. So 150 minus 30 here, total distance 150 minus 130 means you can get the PF value P and F distance is distance value is taken. Then sine beta 1 is equal to sine beta 1 is equal to PF by PD. You know the beta 1 value. From the geometry, sine alpha, you know the sine alpha, all data, so you know the all data. Alpha one is equal to opposite side, you know, opposite side value means R1 is equal to 150, uh, opposite side BG, BG, 150, BB, 150. You can get alpha one value. Then Q is equal to tan beta one, you know, tan alpha one. You know the Q value from the so Q is equal to 0.73. From the geometry, uh, H1 is equal to PB cos alpha. H1 is equal to PB. PB cos alpha 1. So you know the H1 value. Similarly, you can get the N1 value. N1 value. Then maximum speed condition. What is the change? Maximum speed condition. Only change in radius. What is the radius for the maximum speed here? Uh, here 200. Minimum speed radius 150. Only one data only. Only 
change in uh, change from minimum speed uh, change from minimum to maximum speed r1 r1 and r2 value will be changed so and the jamun b b is equal to b to b is equal to b 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 sensitiveness of the problem. The sensitiveness of the fact that the ratio of difference between maximum and minimum equilibrium speed to the mean equilibrium speed. Sensitiveness of the governor that means n2 minus n1. The difference between the uh, maximum to minimum that means range of speed to uh, mean equilibrium speed. n1 minimum equilibrium speed, n2 maximum equilibrium speed, n mean equilibrium speed. So n is equal to n means average. The mean equilibrium speed is equal n plus n divided by 2. Substitute n value in sensitiveness equation. Instead of n, you can apply n2 plus n1 plus n2 divided by 2. Then get final equation 2 is equal to n2 minus n1 divided by n1 plus n2. This is a very, very important terminology. Sensitiveness. Sensitive means, sensitiveness means uh, the ratio of range of speed, the ratio between the stability of the and the governor is said to be stable when for every speed within the working range. That is different configuration. The governor is said to be stable when for every speed within the working range, there is different configuration. So, there is only one radius of rotation of the governor ball at which the governor is in equilibrium. Only, there is only one radius of rotation of the governor ball only one radius of rotation of the governor ball at which the governor is in equilibrium is called as the stability of ball. Single radius of rotation will be to the stability of ball. Then isochronous governor. Isochronous is very effective. The governor is said to be isochronous when equilibrium speed is constant. Then when very very important when equilibrium speed is constant for all ready of rotation of the ball Within the working range, regulating friction. When the equilibrium speed is constant for all radius of rotation of the ball within the working range, this called as the isochronous governor. The isochronism is the stage of infinite sensitivity. Okay. Isochronism is the uh, stage of infinite sensitivity. The next uh, terminology is hunting. Called as hunting means. Uh, a governor is said to be hunted. A governor is said to be hunted if the speed of the engine fluctuates continuously above and below. The engine fluctuates continuously above and below. The means above and below the mean speed or average speed. This called as a hunting. Then effort of the governor. How to fire? How to define the effort of the governor? The effort of the governor is mean force accepted and thus leave for given percentage change of speed. This is the effort of the governor. Then power of a governor. Uh, here in the, the effort is uh, called as called as here P. Okay. The power of the governor is the work done at the sleeve for given percentage change, change of speed. Okay. The power of governor is the work done at the sleeve. For given percentage of change in speed, 
it is a product of mean value of the effort and the distance through which the screw moves. Okay, mathematically, power is equal to mean effort and product of mean effort and the lift of the screw. So, effort and the power of the portal door. What is it? Effort and power of the uh, portal door. This is a formula. Let uh, C. C is called as a percentage of increase in speed. Effort. Effort is equal to denoted as P. P is equal to C into small m. Fly ball sleeve mass into central load mass into uh, sleeve mass plus central load mass into gravity. You get the effort. Then, which condition? Q is equal to wave 1. Q is equal to 1 means alpha is equal to beta. The condition uh, F is the frictional force at this friction. We can apply only for frictional force plus or minus. When it is a mu equilibrium SP, means it can get minus sign. Maximum equilibrium SP will be in positive sign. Here, alpha. Is equal to beta gives governor power. What is the formula for power? The power, the power is, is equal to mean effort into slave divided. So we can get the mu x is equal to beta of the slave. Governor power is equal to p the governor effort into slave effort. Already you know the governor effort, both conditions. Consider the friction and the length of consider the friction. So, we can we'll find steel lift. X is equal to 2H into 2C divided by 1 plus 2C. So, when Q is equal to 1, alpha is equal to beta. Therefore, governor power is equal to 4C squared divided by 1 plus 2C small m plus capital M into G into H is the formula for governor. When, when alpha is equal to beta, q is equal to one condition. Both of them. Next, alpha is uh, not equal to beta. That means tan alpha, tan beta divided by tan alpha is equal to q. What is the effort of alpha? So, p is equal to q in the root of the screw. So, c m can go c into g. Similarly, lift up the screw. Alpha also change. Then get the Governor formula is a formula for alpha is not equal to beta. The portal governor uh, has equal law, uh, each 250 mm long on the axis of rotation. Each ball has 5 kg and the mass of the central load, 20 capital M is equal to 5 kg. The radius of rotation of the ball is 150 mm. When the governor begins to lift uh, 200 mm, when it begins to lift, that means uh, minimum 250 mm, the governor at maximum speed. So, at minimum speed, you can get 150 mm. There is a rotation that means R1 is equal to 150 and R2 is equal to 200 mm. When the governor maximum speed, find the range of speed, what are all the data, what are all the, let uh, say, power. The governor is following cases. You can find both conditions. Consider the friction without considering friction. Then you can solution first to the friction and this thing neglected. First of all, let us find the minimum of the maximum uh, speed of rotation. The minimum portion of the governor is shown in the figure. The minimum portion. You know uh, radius and the uh, arm. So, easily you can find the minimum speed. Okay. And how to find the alpha one value? You know the alpha value opposite side divided by uh, this is sine alpha is equal to opposite side divided by what is equal to the alpha value beta value opposite side. You to, to know the alpha and the beta, easily you can get Q value. Beta is the P B squared minus P G squared. Both ups are equal, uh, both uh, P and T is in the same line means Q is equal to 1. So, uh, 